I started moving my phone to the chest of drawers. So when the alarm goes off, I get out of bed and I'm stood up and then the idea is that I just wake up and stay awake, which I still am awake now, but it's so cold, it's Saturday, and I just wanted to lie back down. I'm not gonna go back to sleep. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna go back to sleep. I just wanted to like lie down and go on my phone for a bit before I start getting ready for my day. And why not? I feel like it's been a quite a long week. I said it before in my what I eat in a week video when I make the pancakes. They're so perfect in this little pan. Like look how round it is. I love it. The food shop arrived halfway through the pancake making. It looks so good. I might add some maple syrup because I'm just craving something really sweet. I had some apples in the food delivery, so I made some like cinnamon apples <laughs> and peanut butter. And there's chocolate chips in the pancakes. And I'm very excited. I feel like the pancakes I made last week were so good. They were in my What I Eat in a Week video. And I've been craving them since. I've been waiting for the weekend so I can make more pancakes. And now we can do a taste test. I mean, they're probably cold because I was cooking the apples for a while. Mm -hmm. It's not not sweet, but I feel like it's kind of dry, so I'm going to add some maple. Mm -mm -mm. I'm so happy. I feel like this is very autumnal breakfast when I think of like cinnamon apple. It's kind of like gives an autumn feel. I've not been doing much since breakfast, but I've got booked in a reformer Pilates class. I'm a reformer Pilates girly now. I'm trying to go to a class every Saturday. Preferably would go earlier. I think the last couple of weeks I've been going to one at nine and this one is at 11, but it's at a different studio. So I basically did a two week intro thing at one Pilates place. Then I'm doing one class at this one and then there's a new place opening like close to my house. So I'm gonna go there next week and then hopefully like forever that will be my like gym that I go to for Pilates. The class is at 11, it's 20 past 10. I'm gonna give myself half an hour to get there on time because it's actually not that far. I could walk. The walk is about 20 minutes. I'm gonna get the bus there and then get a train home. Um. Jules is confused when I vlog and I'm not talking to anyone. <laughs> it's a new Pilates place in Clapham. Avalon? Avalon Pilates? And I'm not doing the beginner class, which I think I'd be more comfortable doing beginners. But like, I'm not really a beginner. I've done like probably 10 classes in my whole life, which maybe I am still a beginner, but I, the beginner class was full when I went to book. So I've just gone into like, not the intense one, but like, I don't even remember what they called it, but just like a normal standard one, which had space. And I'm guessing because lots of people just did beginner ones and hopefully it's not too hard. I'm sure I can just like modify the moves and stuff anyway. So it's not going to be like too difficult, but we will see how I get on. I'm wearing this top, which as soon as I start sweating, it's going to show. 
but it's so see-through that I cannot wear this as like an everyday t-shirt so I thought let me just wear it as a gym top a Pilates top I feel like it kind of gives a Pilates vibe I'll show you my outfit I mean it's nothing exciting but why not just for the vlog <laughs> yeah I've just got gym shop leggings trainers socks top I do have some like grippy socks for when I'm doing the Pilates. You have to wear socks with grip. So if you've never done Pilates before and you want to try it, make sure you get some like socks with grip on because they can be expensive if you buy them from the studios. I got mine from 10 Health Studios. So I only have one pair of them, but this one pair cost me like 10 pounds. And I think that's kind of crazy for a pair of socks just with like the grip on the bottom. Oh, this is just one sock. Okay, I do have two. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna put those in my bag take my water, take my phone, and I think that's it. I don't know if they have lockers or like what the situation is, so I don't wanna to take too much stuff and I don't wanna take things that are too valuable. So I'm gonna leave my camera here, but I'll have my phone. I don't know if I'm allowed to film. I saw on the terms and conditions that you're not allowed to take tripods, which is fine. <laughs> like I wasn't gonna rock up with a tripod anyway. I don't know if that means I can't film at all. Maybe I'll take like my Octo, buddy kind of stick in case I want to stick it on the mirror if I'm allowed like I don't know what the situation is going to be but I will try and film the studio at least so I feel like the last time I wanted to try and film the Pilates they just got a little bit shy practice makes perfect I'm kind of excited I do enjoy the Pilates I think that it's something different and it's a fun like to be on the moving thing it can be very hard and the one thing i did learn over the last couple of weeks is that i don't have a very strong core like whenever we have to do a plank and like moving the machinery <laughs> whatever you call it like i cannot do it so i think i need to work a bit on my core strength it'll come it'll come in the future okay i just need to put my coat on and go. I'm not gonna wear a jumper or anything just because I'm gonna get hot if I'm walking anywhere. <laughs> Although I think it is freezing. Let me check the temperature. It's four degrees. Well, that's not too bad, it's not too bad. So yeah, I think long sleeve top and a coat is probably fine. Okay, this is what I was talking about. It's like a, oh, now I don't know where I put my phone. Because it's black, I don't know if you can see, but it's got like the little suction things on it. This is not the branded one. I did have a branded one on one of my phone cases. I got a new phone and I wanted to be able to remove it. So I've got two stuck together. It's like an Amazon dupe. You just stick it on here and then you can like stick it to things. Not everything is sticky. So like it will stick to my water bottle like that. And you kind of have to peel it off, but it's not gonna stick to like a wall. It's good for like sticking to like mirrors or glass, like things that are kind of, I don't know, shiny in a way. It'd be good on tiles, metal, but like anything that's like painted, not very good. And I think wood is not the best unless it's like varnished wood. Anyway, I don't use it that much, but I think it can be handy if you don't have a tripod and you wanna just like quickly film something in selfie mode. Like you've probably seen some influencers, they have them on there and you probably thought, what is that? It's like, it's called an Octo Buddy because it's like an octopus tentacles. Anyway, <laughs> that's a tangent, I need to leave. <laughs> I was shaking like basically the whole time. Kind of my fault for not going to a beginner class, but like I didn't expect it to be so hot. No, it was fun. It was nice. I really like the studio except the fact that the reception and the workout area are the same space. So if someone comes in the door, it's kind of distracting. I'm out of breath walking. <laughs> walking and talking. <laughs> I was hoping that that market outside the polite space would have something vegan, like a vegan bakery stall or something and it didn't so I'm gonna try 
and find something. I feel like I set my mind on getting it. Can I cross? I feel like I kind of set my mind on getting something. So I'm going to see if I can find something somewhere else. It's Biscoff. I can't remember now. Sticky toffee Biscoff loaf or something. Ooh. I thought we could share it after lunch. I was worried it was gonna get destroyed. We've just been trying the new Walker's vegan crisps. Filmed it for a short and they're just not great. They're not hitting. I feel like they, the cheesy one is, I mean, it just tastes like cheese. I'd rather have a cheese and onion. I think that's why it tastes weird. It's missing an element. Then we got flame grilled steak. It's just not as good as like the Max Walker's flame grilled steak flavor, which is vegan anyway. And then you got barbecue rib, which just, I can't remember what it tastes like actually. Mm, it's okay, this is the best one. I feel like none of them are salty enough, but I now have 15 bags of crisps and we're gonna eat them. <laughs> we started watching Traitors and we are so invested. So we need to watch it now before we get any spoilers. I've just showered, washed my hair, and now I'm gonna dry my hair. I don't usually dry it, to be honest. I usually just like let it air dry, but me and they are going on a date to a pasta restaurant, Amelia's Pasta. We were gonna go last weekend, but I wasn't feeling very well. So we postponed and we're going this week instead. But I don't wanna go outside with wet hair. The day is running away from me, I can tell you that, for free. I think I spend a lot of time just on my phone and I'm not really noticing the time passing. Spent two hours on Instagram today. So yeah, that's <laughs> where my time goes. But I'm going to play The Sims whilst I do my hair because I feel like I need a distraction. Really, I should be reading because I started a book club. The first meeting is on Thursday and I am about 10% through the book. And like, I think I'm too confident that I can finish the book in time and I I'm not reading it. So I need to get on that. I got it on my Kindle, it was 99p, so I was like, I'm gonna grab that now. And yesterday I bought the audio book because I was like, I need to start reading this book. So if I've got it on Audible, I can listen to it on my way to work because I started walking to work and have changed some of my habits. I think walking to work is definitely better. It means that I don't have as much time to read because usually I used to read when I was waiting for my train on the train. So like on my way to work, I was reading. So I decided that I need to replace the reading with audiobooks. Obviously not every day, like sometimes I can listen to music, but when I listen to music, I listen to the same songs over and over again anyway. Like I'm rarely listening to anything new. Whereas with an audiobook, it's like kind of like listening to new stuff. If it's a book I haven't read before, yeah, I downloaded the audio book, but I can't listen to an audiobook when I'm drying my hair, so I mean, I could read the book, but I feel like I'm not gonna be so focused. That's on Thursday. I basically wanted to join a book club and I couldn't find one that read the kind of books that I like to read. So <laughs> obviously my only option was to create one and it's a lot more work than I thought it would be. I don't know, I might do a video about it if it's successful. If not, I will probably just talk about it some other time, but I'm gonna get my laptop charger and some lip balm and then start drying my hair. I feel sore already from the Pilates. Like my legs. I did a leg workout yesterday at the gym and then we did a super leg focused Pilates class. This hair gel smells so good. It's marshmallow and agave leaf. It's what my um, hairdresser recommended that I buy. And it's like the and it's like a curl jelly and it just oh, it smells so good. It's not a hair tutorial by the way, but I'm definitely doing this in a very lazy way. My 
Yes, draw his pasta. So we climb the fence. It's like the world turned its back on us. And now we can't tell if it's heaven or hell. It's like no one on the answer. Oh, you saw it, but you never can tell. I'm doing it again where I'm just scrolling on my phone instead of doing anything else. I need to read my book. <laughs> this is the book that I'm reading. 11% through. I need to finish it by Thursday. Today's Saturday, so tomorrow is going to be spent all day reading. I will go to bed in a minute. I have to brush my teeth and then I'm just... just read my little book so I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me I feel like I didn't do a lot but I always feel like that <laughs> I don't do a lot it's just the truth thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe if you're new and give me a like if you enjoyed that video and I'll see you soon for another one Stop.